so now today in this video what we are going to learn so basically we are going to learn about one of the more um, basic command that is cd command which means the change directory okay so it stands for change directory command so what we will do today uh, we will learn about how we can change our directory from one to another okay now what i have to do i have to just increase the font size for you guys uh, it should be visible uh, i think yeah it's okay it's visible it should be and in the next video in window what i will do i will just open this file manager for your reference to show you how the things are working okay now this is our home directory here you can see home okay and right now we are also in the terminal we are on the home directory what we will do we will do this just ls okay so here you can see we are getting different files like different directory directories, desktop, downloads, pictures, snap, videos, documents and so on okay. So now today in this video what we are going to learn about the cd command okay. cd. What it basically means. cd just stands for change directory. What it will do it will just change your directory okay. Now our current directory is what it is our home okay we are at home we want to go on the desktop. Okay, how we will do it? So, there are the two ways in which we can perform this action. Like first one is that we, that is a basically a concept of Linux. So that's why I'm telling you. Uh, that is of, I think one of these is absolute path name. And the second is reactive path names, okay? So first we will talk about the absolute path name. In absolute path names, what we do, we just provide the whole path, okay? Uh, wait a minute. I will just provide the desktop path okay I want to go mm, move to into the desktop directory what I will do cd desktop this is basically what absolute path names okay so I will just hit enter and now you can see I am in the desktop now what I will do I will do ls okay so here you can see the file which uh, uh, this is also one directive uh, in which we had created in the last video okay so this is the files of the desktop directory okay so this is the like uh, one of the way in which uh, we can do it like we call it as the absolute path names and now the next is relative path now what is this so basically relative path names works uh, for a particular notation that is dot then or you can say double dot okay so what i have to do now i have to go back now i am in the desktop i have to go back okay like uh, from let me cancel it like from here you can see i'm in the tag uh, right now we are here at the test okay in the desktop directory now what i have to go i have to go back in the where in the home directory so for this what i will do i will just do cd dot dot again back we are back okay we are in this particular window or uh, we have this in this particular window you can say like in the home directory now uh, there is also one more command uh, which you we will learn in this video like that is pwd what it does it just shows you the present working directory so our present working directory is home slash ius why ius because you ius is one of the user of this particular os that's why it's showing ius like uh, whenever you will create multiple users then you will get your own particular home directory in which you will create your separate files and folders or anything which you want to create okay that's why it's showing home ius now what i will do i will move into the documents directory okay documents okay now now i am here documents so now what i will do i will just do pwd so here you can see we are getting again the same present working directory cd uh, like home i use documents okay i hope you got the idea about how, how pwd is working how documents is working now what i have to do i have to just go back one more directory back one directory by dot dot okay we are back now i, I will do pwd again we are at the home and i use we are at the home directory now we will just hit uh, clear button and here what we will do we will create a one structure here you can see ls command is one of the folder and uh, i will open up this folder and i will try to create uh, again new folder that is test2 
okay now what we will do we have to come directly in the ls command folder so how we can do it first we first of all we will do ls okay we got the list of the all the directory which are present in the home directory now where i have to go i have to go in the documents directory so i will do cd documents i am just uh, entering uh, like after typing the duc and then you, if you will hit tab then automatically it will like up like this documents okay then after documents where we have to go like uh, now i am in documents now i will do ls we are on the this documents uh, directory and here is the directory that is ls command now what i have to do ls command okay now where we are we are in the documents slash ls command now what i will do i will do ls this is we are in the test two uh, not in the test two like this is the uh, content uh, of this particular directory like ls command now it, I, I will do i will again go back and go into the test two okay now let me increase that width so it should be clear to you okay now what i will do i will just hit pwd pwd means present working directory so my present working directory is home i uh, use documents ls command and the test two okay now what we will do we will go back one by one cd dot dot we are one directory back cd dot dot again one directory back cd dot dot again one directory back now we are where we are we are in the home directory now what i will do i will just uh, give the whole path okay documents slash ls command slash test in this way you can also go in the like uh, your final destination directly like providing the whole path in a single string okay now what i will do pwd so here you can see the whole path like this is same as this this one like when we uh, move went to that directly like one by one okay when we were doing one by one then we were all getting these results and also when we are doing like in a single string then also we are getting the same result i hope you got the idea about how this cd chain direct working okay let me clear this now uh, there is also one more shortcut to go directly in the home directory that is cd this tilde it will directly go into the home directory that is ls okay or we when we will do pwd you will get that particular window okay so uh, i hope you got this uh, how the things are working and this is all about the cd like change directory command okay cd stands for change directory okay i hope it is clear now so we will meet in the next video with uh, like we will create some folders and files and all these things we will talk about in the next video so that's all for today's video and thank you for watching so we'll meet in next one okay thank you thank you for watching